Hi, I'm your host, Dr. David Good News Silas, and this is the D Legend Show. It is called The People Show, you know, and today I will be hosting a very beautiful lady. She has been an amazing, beautiful queen, and she has been representing women to an excellent level to certain extent. For this, I want to recognize her today and share her story with everybody. Please, I am welcoming everybody to join us on this show today. It's going to be an amazing and I have an amazing lady in the house. We go ahead and bring her in so you can see who this lady is. Here comes the beautiful, the beautiful, gorgeous, elegant, classy lady. Oh, Melissa! <laughs> I'm very happy to have you today, and you're looking drip gorgeous. Hey, in a representing one name. Amen, man. Amen, man. On Nigeria, what you like? What you now? I'm gonna raise you up, body, up, body, man. Eh? I'm on the snatani line. Mba, mba. I. They can't defeat us. <laughs> so, Abi, I have this personal interest, respect for you all the years I've known you. Um, I think I can't even start calculating how long I've known you. It's been a very long time, and uh, it's been an amazing journey that I feel. From what I know about you, I feel like using my platform to share your story. One, to encourage you. Secondly, to empower others. Mothers and single mothers like you. You have been doing very awesome and amazing, empowering a lot of things that I can I don't even know how many ways that is the best for me to qualify and uh, and uh, and to be able to better describe who you are and what you've been doing but starting with I want you to tell us how long you've known Debbie wow it's a nice thing it's a nice thing I, I, Debbie is Debbie. I'm to be fr to be frank and to be sincere. I'm I'm very very happy to know you as a person. Really? You, yeah. I, I let me not to use that word. Uh, you are a good person. You you are a diamond. <laughs> yes, you are. You are such a nice woman that you never leave people behind. You are, an, I, be, I believe it, and I used to say it, you are an umbrella that so many people come under it to hide why the rain is falling. They, they hide yourself why the rain is falling. You understand? You are an, a big umbrella that gives people shelter. You are a nice woman, indeed. I'm in love with you. Thank right you. from time it has been a very i know you i know you for a very very long time and you have not for one day make me sad rather you 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 love me you want me to anything i'm doing you encourage me you tell me or be keep it up don't give up you are a role model i love you for that <laughs> thank you I appreciate you, and I, I, it makes me happy that people feel, people like you feel that way about me and see what I do or my personality. But to be honest, it's people that keep account of what I do or my personality. I don't really keep account of it because I just do me. <laughs> I just do me. I just feel like doing me. And how I do me is people that better describe it. <laughs> Okay, you too, uh, you're a very nice lady. You have a free spirit. Let me just use that word. You have a free mind. And I love people like that, people that have the same kind of personality. Because you know what? They don't fall. No matter mm -hmm. what, I, I keep telling people, um, do you be free, be happy with others, 
rejoice with people and people will rejoice with you but you know what not time time make your progress on your so well progress in ke na ta mo go do nko we of course onye ma ta ba aro eh eh is again onye ma onye ma ta ba aro na icho ke i ta ka si bo nwo ge maka progress on your so if onye nwa if onye nwa o di o ka sha zi nka ko lo to ka nka ni ke you know so if you are this lady that you never scroll past without admiring commenting empowering and cheering up and that is one personality i like about you too and you are a very struggling lady no matter what you never give up that is one quality that i saw in you that i keep encouraging don't stop this life has been a lot of blocks on it you when you go 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 get that yeah no no there no you have to get up go for child don't worry oh yeah continue you got that good? so that yeah. is what i've always believed and i've always used my experience to also encourage especially women especially women i i like to encourage and push i wish people push me the way i push on that self i don't know how people are push you you are the you are the leader now and they push me that come on you want to say I get when the gay boots on my gun. I wear no bad hair. I'm not a walk. 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 I'm not Onya no nya nwapotazie ina ina etukwa na no nwere ka ora ga onye wa ase na enuge na enuge gi ma bi so mma Asu kan change e topic you said to run na rupa ba you know but you know this life is very free and then uh, I've always enjoyed people who have free mind and support each other and don't envy others and you are one of those ladies that I know right from time yes, okay. that you have yeah. always been you and doing your best and there are so many things i want to talk about with you this lady here eh, i know when she was struggling <laughs> all by herself all by yourself those days all by yourself <laughs> now nah, try to fair on that bridge okay. when africa that was very small Of course. One thing another man love for that thing about you and that is why any time at any height no matter how we use grown bridge I look out for you. What is she doing now? How is she doing it? You have to keep moving, you know? So that is one thing that the world need to learn about. You. If the world cannot learn about it, at least our own community women need to learn from people like you. You don't have to give up when the world feel like they have the right to give up on us. Uh, no you don't have to give that right that is one of the things you have refused that the world cannot give a command over how you move and how you be able to succeed so i remember those time you were all by yourself irrespective of everything <laughs> and you always empowering and one thing i love those children to today for is that they were always there around helping you for everything. Do you want to tell us about those stories then and how they were able to learn because I know two of your children are very professional today in your skill and your profession and they even advanced it even better than you did it then. You know, of those things are so amazing. I want you to share your story on that. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you my darling. Baby, I'm grateful to have you. I'm grateful to be your friend. I'm grateful to know you as a person. I'm grateful. Thank you for your question and uh, it has been an amazing thing all this while. Thank God we are alive to say to speak to even express ourselves those days it it wasn't easy my darling it wasn't easy when you're saying all this 
or they can kuzoli her from that side. <laughs> it wasn't easy. Those days from Imagono, Madu Bido Siafo. I hear me like me before a bidon car can come. I hear me like me before a bidon car. I want one person born. I dem a, I dem. I'm going to find a kumlobi. Oh, I'm going to move. 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 Oh, I'm going no matter how much the money, nobody if I can make you a zoomazim. You got to go. I think uh, I went to first start those days to just go and have a little knowledge of making nails. So and I have so much love nails. I'm always with nails since I become an adult. You cannot see my natural nails, though I have good nails. So I have to go to that journey. Of making nails at Underbridge Trade Fair, it's a very known place. Trade Fair, Lagos State. So, we don't make them go now. No shelter, nothing, nothing. Oh my, Fanata School. They will join me. You know, from there, I got joined him. My son become passion. He will just tell somebody, please let me make your nail. If it's not good. I will clean it or I will pay for it. He doesn't have money to pay for it, but he will promise that person if I don't do it well, I will pay for it. Wow. wow. I said, see now, wow. Wow. Just, Just like to that. Raise this, their confidence. Yes, these children begin like that. But at a time, they, you know, at a time, they become ashamed because of their, their fellow children. I know. Whenever they, children see, now. whenever they see them, you know, Toward that, uh, coming back from school, see them in their mommy's shop, painting nails. They will become, they want to hide. And I told them, no, my dear, you don't need to be scared or afraid or hiding yourself from what that gives you food in your table. Hmm? You are helping your mommy. Mm -hmm. You don't be scared of it. Don't be afraid of people. Don't look at what they will think or what they will say. Very soon, soon they will come and start admiring you people. Exactly. My, my son said yeah, like that. I said yes, and they used to hear me. These children are the children that they hears me a lot. That's because one thing if you, I know, yes. Because if you if you want to have a qualified or a good mother, make sure from childhood when your baby is five months, you begin to tell them to hear you, and they will begin to hear you. Mm -hmm. You understand? So just like that, we begin. And before you know it, you, you have been there, you come to patronize me. A lot of women, when they see me, they have pity on me, they will come and patronize me. They don't know that even that pity they're having on me is not even my business. Because what I'm looking for is money to feed them and to feed myself. So as God, time goes on, I have to pack from there, you know, as growth comes to satellites. And I gave my name, Oblistic in Satellite Town. Yes! <laughs> So the name have to trend. Wow. I packed the first uh, satellites. Before you know it, women, God grace, everything. God begin to favor me. Nature begin to favor me. I begin to, uh, you know, one thing is that I'm the kind of person that whenever I'm doing something, I don't look back. I do things with my last blood. I do things with water in my body. So I begin like that. And my children saw the passion. And, they, you know, they become encouraged. Mm. They join me with fullness. And they become happy doing it with me. When they see their, say, you know, teachers coming back, they wouldn't even mind. They will be doing what they are doing, even be adding style on it. Before <laughs> you know it, people start coming from far and near yeah. to come and do nails. I have a lot of people that came from Ghana just because of our nails. Wow. People come from Abuja just because of our nails. Wow. You know, people, when they see our nails, maybe someone wearing it in a, a plane or bus, where do you make these beautiful, beautiful nails? Uh -uh. 
there is one lady of listening in satellite. Go and ask so far this. Before you know it, God just start like that. And I begin to train my kids. You understand? And they are they are such a wonderful children. Today, my children are one in town. I, I see. <laughs> they have even I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. They I, are on top. <laughs> they are, they have that inspiration. They do more than what I taught them. Yes. They are even teaching me. Now they are the ones teaching me what I taught them mm -hmm. in a in a style, in a grand style, in a in, in a way that I become amazed. Everything about them, I begin to look at them. Is it is this these children? Is it not these little children of yesterday? Is it not those little children of yesterday? I'm telling you, I'm so grateful that friends. I'm telling you, and these children, they are. I'm not boasting. I'm not trying to let you know that um, I'm so much, but. God used these children to, you know, to make it. So I'm living is because of these kids. Because what they do, the way they do things, the way they bring ideas, the way they encourage even other people. I taught a lot of people nails. I taught a lot of people out there. They are doing well. And then they are now teaching so many people. Like last month, three ladies came from Abuja to come and learn microbraiding from Ebuka. Wow. And so many people are coming to Chinaza to Ebuka. You know, Ebuka here, the boom's glam, Nazi glam, the boom, you know, the name is escalating everywhere. And I'm happy and I thank God. And I still thank God for those people that make it possible for me to get to this stage. Thank Honestly, you. I know how it trended when um, Ebuka received the award in 2020 as the best. Uh, makeup artists and nail yes. <laughs> producer <laughs> of the year for this yes. award. It was trending everywhere and that was an honor. That was an <laughs> honor. People couldn't even believe that that was your son. <laughs> and they don't know how far this woman have sacrificed for these children and how far these children have sacrificed also to make their mom proud. That is one thing that I love about your kids. And um, they, they, they didn't disappoint. And I just want to use this opportunity to encourage two of them to continue. That we are watching. The world is Thank watching. You. People are watching. People who who wanted to laugh because that was a laugh. They wanted to laugh, but they didn't laugh again. So I want you to, two of them to make sure that they, they clean that opportunity and not give anyone at all that will make them actually laugh. You know? Thank you. And I'm glad that they are proud of who they are and today they have profession on their own, of their own. Yeah. They are bosses of their own, you know, from childhood. And that is, that is a very, very amazing. And uh, courtesy of you, all credits go to the beautiful mom. And that is what makes you more beautiful, you know. <laughs> Thank you. You've really, you really represented. And being a single mom is not easy. So I tell people, you don't really have to be making excuses. There's so much you can explore. Of but course. Who gave Obey capital? Nobody. Who built <laughs> house for Obey? Nobody. Who made it for her children? Nobody. Who trained her children? Nobody. Who did she go begging? Uh, please, my children have not eaten. We can't even pay house rent. You know, I don't have a husband. Nobody. I don't think anybody, except on a good will, on a normal close friends. But she was never in that status because she had business that she was doing. And it was really trending. A lot of people was coming. I remember those days, uh, 20, 28, 29, I used to invite you to come make my hair for my shoes and my nails in first time for my shoes. And those was very, very beautiful. And those people were supporting on their own, not because they are giving her money, but because what she was doing was good. So what was she doing? She was making nails. From there, she was able to open her own shop, train her children, do things on her own. She fought for it. So being a single mom is not really an excuse. We're not just talking about single mom. There are a lot of hobby married women out there. 
that their husband keep misbehaving and maltreating them and they just sit at home doing nothing with the excuse my husband don't want to open shop for me my husband don't want to give me money you can wake up on your own and change things no matter what no of matter course. what as little as it may be start from there focus on it and put your mind on it you understand i keep telling people you are one of the key examples that many people should learn from you know um you have already Thank told you. us about your business and uh, mm-hmm. how you started even though this, this life so love they cannot finish the whole story yet. you know she's already told us how uh her ch- how she was able to train her children and all that and then i want you to tell me and share with me your thoughts on this what will you advise mothers like you single mothers like you married women like you that are struggling so tell me what with your experience what will you tell them to empower them from your experience thank you thank you so much anyway adi adi agwa mmadu mali ife yeah obro no o hi ti egi hard is it like a gamali ife hmm we especially now nigeria come to the nigeria when you example on your bona na ebe the neck when you are you know you want every you want people to pity you here in nigeria nobody pities anybody you got to go so the only advice nga agwa mothers monday single mothers or married the ones that are in their husband house why a peka mother just west to be anyhow i'm telling you you don't know where to be anyhow yes mother in the west in the west gali o wa they said uh, life no balance i look at life i think life for me life balance this life this is life we are seeing is balanced because a blood the bus stop is still there us is still in us enugu is still in enugu canada is still in canada lagos is still in lagos that is life now we where they inside the life that we know stand well we know stand well that we are we bent you understand that's what i believe so in machewa women out there you see everything always accept to learn and in where fault e kwana ka fault oge overtake ege onwo ro ye di perfect onwo ro ye na apota malo sia ife ni ine first of all you would like to learn from others then you add to your own you will get a push my pride today is my children onwo ro onwo ro you also my pride today is my children and why in the training why advice is that children are like white cloth they are like white cloth when you, you wear white cloth it, uh, or, or stain when right? you wash it when you you know you keep washing it at a time you find out that that white cloth a fade be mama children when you watch them clean they become so white are you getting me mama e super e super fam e be na na mba white nka ochube that should that children or that child will begin or be the match be match be are you getting me now mm-hmm. and don't know much way do that child will become it was white it was white you got to go so only up on a mulumma bitu no gay zuba umwaya you got to go any is not in as long as digging yeah negging yeah again yeah on a fat jago up on a fenya rogi you have home as it just happen was okay what if nadiga noria what if you were one ne what if not it just small and when they know what if you were any bot around them so can you hear me if it has you were again government road that could be again no he gave me the baby but that they go to contented with what you have the little one you have then make use of it kabahu see you back on we're going to check out you're going to say woman you got to go molly figure you know you were me Maybe don't know belly. Anybody that starts small grows. You know, God loves the little beginners. When you start little, you find out that you start growing. For the fact, you love it. You are proud of it. 
You understand? You find out that that thing, Ibito, Gebito, Obey, Beg, and Pito, Lubelegisi, and be, begin to grow. You understand? So, I'm not all much thing, and I was on why. I'm not really asking on why I'm a different one. I'm a safe. No more fear, no more for the why. Fache ga in alola na we. Eh, what ago? Which name? I'm about alola na we. I'm not trying to make fun of your pampa. No, trying to make fun of your we we learn it in a hard way and we come out in a flying colors mm -hmm. and i pray that every woman out there god will strengthen you anywhere you are and give you that wisdom and knowledge to bring your children close even your husband those ones that are in husband house you will know you want what to do at the right time not doing the wrong thing at the right time doing the right thing at the wrong time chiko mo go on chiko kato mo has gone on happen dizzy because when we can be for them, my family to send care one. Then single moms, kids who no bother, they don't want to excuse no one. Bible made us to know that be ready at all time. We talk about the nine twine. You got to go. We talk about the nine twine. Be ready at all time. Be in your own people for time. No one. He gets you as. It's why all them man. No problem. No one marry be. Zubi and no one marry na be zorodia. Oh, in a zuzi family, what is then people will see. And they will begin to help you, and they begin to assist you. Over in on a begging a lot, all in a train, I get a year fifty thousand, a year ten thousand. When I get that, a year eighty or chair gets more work. You got to go, or money will need to go to useless on their own. Mama, in a me, and I forgot enough from being our one. I forget nature now, forget universe now, forget before you know it, they don't have any option rather to bless you. So I urge every woman out there, I encourage them to start from somewhere and let them love themselves first. Love their children and love anybody around them and love anything. I'm not this surprise. Some women from one year before, they will just they hate someone you before for no reason. They will hate their fellow woman. They will hate their fellow woman. For no reason. Man don't want to catch us. In a hate him over the same leg. In a hate him. By the time you don't want to hate trade on human being, he care of. You are not the one that give that created that person and you hate that person because only one two thing, one or two things on him on his or her own. Because maybe over the care. Or make us safe when we see, or the chat a man. Or when abroad, any man may not catch us in the So in a hate, in a hate on that person, they feel you know when he never more gaba. Or what the key gang? Are you getting me? And the umwa bono umwa though this time they notice is a kita. Umwa are coming out in a flying colors. They don't even they re, they have reduced the the uh, the way they gossip or the way they have time to talk about people. I think now. Nigeria they hit you on everybody. So <laughs> we are not talking of uh, of twenty seven of two thousand seven hundred. I used to buy cholesterol free oil. I used to buy as of yesterday is twelve thousand naira. Wow. As of yesterday. So by the time you know in Israel and here it's you go to go to world. You are not going to boil up. Just make it a And in the end, you are going to get now one or two things. If they make you feel make you. It made sure that no man didn't worry for Hana or Waka. This time, Hana got school. Fat your one or two things, Nanya for joy. Engage them in that thing. And wear holidays. Engage your children. Women, eh? I need the ever same boy. We need to step the game up. Number one, reduce envying each other. Reduce envying each other. And, um, try our best to work hard um, in everything we're doing skill is very important skill, I, I didn't dispute the fact that we all do business do business on the side and also on the other side try to adopt any skill that you can uh, keep powering on because skill is one business that i know does not fade skill will always be there at any time to pick up from no matter how the economic situations crash, that skill, skill that I'm the take for example that you make hair, will I not make my hair? I will always make my hair, you know? Even if that uh, is hard for all women globally in every community to just go low cut. Even if we go low cut, right? 
we must also always put wig on. Go learn how to make wig. If it is to make wig, learn how to make wig. At least that thing that we're going to use to cover that look. Eh? Because if we want to go to uh, functions or an event, we want to still look pretty. Go learn how to do that. What, however you change, learn how to do whatever that is trending that time. And have it with you. It will always be there as a backup. Whatever it is, nails, fashion designing, there's so many skills. Uh, fascinator. fascinator came. Everybody pick up from Fascinator. People started learning how to be fascinated. They do order for Ashibi. They order in bulk for, you know, try to engage yourself on something. You know, it doesn't hurt. Rather, it profits, especially when life is kind of trying to twist and all that. So, like I was saying, jealousy is becoming something else. We, do you know that women even jealous people that they don't know? have never met before don't even know if they will ever meet that person that, that is the craziest of it all on facebook is another um av community <laughs> uh, uh, online online av community like uh, if I, I think people will still will soon start jazzing people that they never met they don't even nothing about the person they don't know how the person is struggling and making it in life they don't know if what they saw is the truth about that person or not in fact we need to just stop another thing that i would like us to talk about is how will you be able to develop the skill of supporting each other especially women you know if you see someone's business what stops you from sharing it with people in your platform it doesn't hurt and when you bring up things others will also share it in their platform it doesn't hurt you know um i don't know i'll be trying to talk to me yeah, please be patient let me give her a call and know what is going on with her internet or phone or something hello I don't know. I'm waiting for you to log in again. Send a request so I will accept you. I'm waiting on you. So guys, Obi is coming back again. So um, I will encourage women instead of backstabbing each other and envying each other, work on your own self. You know, there is one fact that we are all missing. A lot of people are missing it. We, we are skillful in a different way. We, we are skillful differently, I mean. So you have your own um, potentials. I have my own potentials. My potential might be the same with yours. It's of, sometimes it happens. But most, most times, most obviously, it may be different. So try to discover what is your own potential. What are you naturally gifted for to do? You have a skill. You have something that is very special about you. We all have it. But try to discover which one is yours. And if you can discover it and build on it, that is what will make you the, the highest and the best of it all in your own category. That's my belief. So if you can discover what you're naturally endowed for, what you're naturally skillful for, what you're best in, if it is to talk, then people talk today to make money. That means you have a skill in talking. So instead of using that talking to be talking about people for free and for not making anything, but rather putting your tongue, your tongue putting you on trouble, use that your tongue to talk and make money from it. If it is whatever it could be, please try to discover your own skill and develop on it and make money from it and try to power your life. From it, I'm better this life, you know, instead of uh, instead of uh, wasting time, you know. People comment these days to even make money. Comment and likes these days, no money. So try to look for platforms that 
they pay to do that. So if you want to waste your time online, try to waste time and make money. If you don't know how to do it, ask me, DM me, I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you how you can make money by wasting time online. Instead of wasting time to envy people or to backstab people or to uh, 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 envy them. You know, you can see, use that time for something useful for yourself. So please, I will, um, I admire women so much. And I wish all women are very, very powerful and productive and exemplary. That's my wish. I wish it happens. So, but in my own power, I try to use my platform to make sure that I empower as much as I can in my capacity, those that are around me or I can reach out to. Okay, so I wish others will also do the same. Try to empower each other, support each other instead of pulling each other down. You know, when you see good thing, you know that thing is good. Talk up now, say it's good. And it will make you happy. You didn't know how much it makes women, anybody anyway, to say, hey, you look pretty, I love your clothes. It makes the person feel so kind of special. How do you feel about that? How, why don't you do it to everybody you see around you? And people that see you also see you say the same thing. How do you feel? Um, yesterday, I went to a grocery store. I saw one lady. She was dressed on her hoodie and a little tight pant. But the way she put it together, I couldn't. I was like, hey, you look so cute. That's so pretty. She first of all looked down on her, look her like she's just so surprised i don't know why she felt that way so but she was really very happy her smile her her body movement can show how happy she was i went to the store i was shopping so do you know she started looking for me in the store she saw me she hugged me she said you made me feel good thank you for that me too. I thought I was like, oh, just that. I was just admiring, saying the truth, you know. So that makes people feel good. And it didn't take anything from you other than adding happiness to your mind. So when you, if you want to really enjoy peace, stop bastarding people, stop envying people. It brings sadness instead of peace. When you're happy for people, there's some kind of special happiness that comes to you. If you doubt me, try to try that at least for one or two weeks. You will experience what I'm talking about, you know. So on this note, I don't know, my lady um, is having maybe internet issue. She is not coming up. I wish I can still hold up for her because we still have this show going on. But meanwhile, let me hold up for a little while for her. I don't know. Um, next show, I will be bringing another beautiful lady. She's an American. She also has a beautiful, very beautiful, amazing story to share with us. And um, that will be very soon. I'll be posting it anyway. Let me not say anything now. So <laughs> I like to talk to women, especially try to use my platform to empower them and let them know hey we seeing you you are doing good thing and we love what we, you're doing you've empowered me you've empowered others that makes them feel good and it can make the world feel better if you tell me that i'm doing good it motivates me to do better if I tell you, you are doing well, it motivates you to do better. Guess what? How do you think our community is going to look like? A very beautiful one where everybody feel equal, equal, uh, respected, equal joy and happiness and loved. You know, please try your best to engage in positive things and try your best to bring up, especially our children, try to make them feel engaged. 
look for any skill you can engage your child in. It doesn't stop you from sending them to school if you can. If you can, send them to school, let them go to school. But at the same time, if, if it's possible, let them get courses that are skilled courses to learn in, in the university so that when they come out, they can build on their own. Even without the secular work, they have a skill they can build on. But if not, they can still learn something as a backup. Just in case, you can see how the society is moving. We have to move to, we have to act to. For those who feel that life is more tough with them, it, it, it is not. It, that's not true. Life is tough for everybody, including those you think they are doing well. If they open their mouth and tell you what they are stuck with, you won't believe it. So the best thing is for everybody to wake up because nobody is owing anybody. Nobody is owing anybody. You owe only yourself. So the earlier when all of us realize that, that we owe our, own ourselves, that nobody is owing us, the better we can get up and act. So sitting at home, feeling that my, um, and my, my sister have money, she's just enjoying, she don't want to give me anything. You're just deceiving yourself and creating unnecessary enemy, enmity that is not supposed to be there. You know, uh, my uncle has money. He doesn't want to give me. He's enjoying on his own. If that man you see should let you in into his affair, you will know that your own problem is my my case to his own. So please try to get up on your own and work hard. And our own duty is to support each other, no matter how little each person is doing. We don't know what we're struggling with individually. So if we can support each other, at least that is one way of giving even more than cash. If I have a little business that I am trying to struggle with and I'm trying to let the world know about it, people to know about it, and you pick it up and share to your contact, do you know how much you've given me just for doing that? Do you know that you touched my life too for doing that? So please try to see as many as you can touch your, their life with by any means, by words of mine, mouth, by recommendations, by posting on social media is big now. That is where people say things. Even if you can't reach them, they can stumble on it. On it. Their friends can stumble on it and through their friends, another person can see. So you never know, but what are you doing? Humanity work. Okay, so please, let's try as much as we can to touch people's life, to empower, to encourage other than tearing and bringing them down. We don't know what each person is going through. That little word you call, little word that you tell someone can be the end of that person's life. That person, you don't know what each person is going through. Some are just waiting for just small thing to end it. They are already frustrated. So one behavior or one word that you just said can contribute and fuel something you may not know that you caused it. So that is why we want to spread more love. More love. Try to touch people's life. Ask yourself, let it be a goal and an assignment. Today uh, is weekend. Tomorrow is Monday morning and we're starting a new week. What should I do? Can you be nice to people you meet? You don't have to give them money if you don't have. Being nice and touching people's life is not about giving them money. There are things that are worth more than money to them. There are things you can give someone that can help to build that, that person thousands. So try to find out through which means can you be nice? Can you touch somebody's life? That is very important. The encouraging someone alone can lengthen that person's life span. 
because you don't know what the person is going through the person might be giving up already so but that what you just said now might retrieve the whole negativity that it was going on in that person's mind and you don't know inside the person's mind they were like hey, i think it's god that sent this person to talk to me but can you be that god sent every day we pray god please help me do this god please i really need this help me do it god does not throw those prayers to be answered from heaven he uses me and you to 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 answer people's prayers but it just de depend on you if you will be available if you will be available to be uh, to be used to be allowed you to allow yourself to be used to answer someone's prayer you may not know when you have been used to answer somebody's prayer so please somebody's need will be answered through someone but you don't know if it will be you but how the only thing you need to do is to make yourself available how do you make yourself available try to be nice to people try to if you have information you need to direct on or give advice on try to do it if you see someone you can talk to try to do it you can try to be positive in everything you say to people just say no tear down no gossip no cursing uh, just give that go you can write it on a piece of paper and say no cursing no tear down and when he wants if you're used to that kind of thing when he wants to trigger at least you see your reminder no cursing no tear down so that you know that all that have to come out from your mouth your action will only be one that will make one make one smile so that's how we start and then if you can do that and i do that or every other person do the same how do you think we are going to we are going to at least try our best to better the condition and the economic crisis that is going on now please i want to say stay tuned on this channel subscribe and follow through and then we want to empower each other and continue to be there for each other for now i'll be signing out and then thank you for watching